occasions when I have it's videotaped it. Coming off the bag like a rock. No, there, it's not. Is it big? Is no, it, it never changes. It never changes. It's always the same. It's moving now. Yeah, it's going to move in a south, southerly direction. It's going to go all the way across the sky. There's no contrail behind it. A it's jet would leave a contrail. A jet wouldn't do this every day. I'm out here right now because I wanted specifically to capture this on tape so I can prove to people what I'm telling them. This is a comet or a, ex a comet planet of some sort. And as it keeps passing by us every day, it started out at about three o'clock the first time I captured it about a month and a half ago. A month and a half ago, I'll show you pictures I took at the beach when I was at Goat Rock. I saw it in the sky and I, that was the first time that I saw it. I took pictures of it. I should have videotaped it. So to it. see it in our uh, atmosphere like that? It's outside of our atmosphere. It's it looks like it's in our there? atmosphere, but it's outside oh, so of our it atmosphere. Be outside, but it looks like... Yeah, right now the sun is hitting it because it's sundown. It's near sundown and it's been coming every day about this time. What about that one planet that they, see, the, they, come, uh, they think this, the Sumerians is smashing This is exactly what I'm talking about. That is exactly that what I am talking I will show you when I'm done here. I will show you my other video footage of this thing. Now, someone might tell me, oh, it's a jet. Okay, I'll take that once, but I'm not gonna take that every day that I can videotape this thing going by us at this point, a little bit later each day, but as you see, here it is. There it is. No, this is a comet planet thing. This is part of this Nibiru thing that's coming. NASA says, oh, it's billions of miles away. There's nobody can really say, but look at this thing. If this thing is a few million miles closer, it's crossing right in front of us. You see it? it that thing has the that thing has the potential of striking us at some point. <laughs> Every day it's going past us. <laughs> now my friend didn't believe this was. You think it's in the oh, oh, probably. I would say it's a few million miles away at least. But it's perturbing the Earth. This is why we're having so many earthquakes, so many uh, volcanoes. Oh, all these things are why being. Are these cars stopping us? They're all being affected by this thing and and the other things that are out there. Now the thing that this is connected to, the dark star, is supposed to be, somebody told me, 70 times the mass of Jupiter and about 10 times the size of Jupiter. And it's a magnetar, a magnetic dead star of some kind. Now you see this thing, right? You're watching it with me. That is not a jet. I will show you on the other videotapes that I have. It's the Wait, exact same out. thing. No, you won't hear this. That? No, it's the cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm out here all the time. Right. Even at night, I'm out here. Four o'clock in the morning, I take a walk outside, it take a look around. It almost like a spaceship going by. It looks almost like that. It, it, it's, it's extraterrestrial in a way that it's a comet or a planet or something. You see how it kind of stops for a second sometimes, though? It's, no, it's moving. It's constantly uh, on the move. You saw when we first saw it, it was way over here. Now that's a long distance in space right there. That is, that's moving. And there it is. I came out here specifically at this time to try to capture it and I did. There it is. This is, NASA's not telling us about this. None of these people, the news agencies, none of them are telling us about this. See, a jet this. would go a lot faster than that, wouldn't it? Yeah, and a jet, away. a jet would leave a trail. This is constant. It's just that little debris tail behind it that we see but I'll show you when I'm done videotaping this thing that um, it's exactly the same thing that I've been taping for weeks now the, the first time I saw it the first time I saw it was a month and a half ago then I've been blessed every time I come out that I can see it when I do and now it's becoming even more and more evident because every day I can catch it I couldn't catch it every day before, but now I can. Now it's almost directly over the sunset. You can see it has the potential if it's in over here instead of over there. It would strike the earth. Yeah, it's it's passing closer to us. That's why. Remember how small it was when it was first shown? You can really see it now.
Now people are going to criticize me and they're going to say, Oh, Lisa, go get your tinfoil hat. Or they're going to say, Oh, that's a jet, Lisa. I can tell you, that. that's a Tell's jet, Lisa. Light, you if you had binoculars, I'd, you should take a look at it. Oh, you should come go get it and take a look at it, man. Tell me what you see before it passes. It's going to be gone soon. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to see this thing under extreme magnification. That would be awesome. But you can tell it's gotten bigger since it's come closer to us. And every day it's getting bigger. It wasn't this close to us before. I'll show you the video I have. It was farther and farther away. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I was uh, a few years in the Marines and I, I know what a jet looks like. I know what contrails look like. And this is not a jet. And this thing is... It's ripping. It's got a longer tail now because we could see it. It's closer. It's doubled in size, at least maybe tripled since we first started watching it just a few minutes ago. And that's covering a huge distance in space. That's almost going past our sunset right now. Look at the tail on that thing. It's closer and closer every day. Remember the other day you asked me about the UFOs? Well, I didn't tell you about this thing because I was hoping to, to catch it again. I'm telling you, this thing is bigger now than it has ever been. It's getting closer to us every day. But I've, seen, I've looked at stars in my house and seen uh, one that like dances back and forth, how you say? The disco star? And, uh, it changes I colors? Maybe, I said, okay, maybe it's a satellite. <laughs> maybe satellites move. I can show you something tonight. If the night is clear, it's going to be over here in the north, uh, northwest sky. I, I'm not sure about all that stuff, but I'll show you later. This thing that shows up, I call it the disco star because it changes colors. It goes from red to green to blue to yellow, and it's blinking and flashing, and uh, it's very extraordinary. Look at this thing, man. It's huge now. Look at it. That has the potential of striking us at some point. I started way over here when I started filming. It was way over here by this tree bank over here and it has traveled all this distance. And now here it is here and we can see the tail on this thing. Well, son, that'd be, we'd be <laughs> it's pretty big. If it hits us, we're done. We're so toast. Shit like a mile bank, that thing is the millions of miles long that tail although it looks short from here I bet that tail is long and it's supposed to be filled with debris lots of giant chunks that's where all these meteorites are coming through our atmosphere recently look at that thing go I was hoping I could see it tonight and there it is <laughs> thank you Lord here's proof See, this thing's orbiting with us. It's, it's circling, the er, it's, it's going around the, the sun every day. It's orbiting and crossing our path. <coughs> See the path? Well, it's been said that the countries of Russia and uh, the United States have collaborated and have sent secret missions up to try to get rid of some of these things. Uh, fucking, uh... That thing is really huge. Look at that. There's some spaceship came recently uh, and, and, and uh, said that our nukes were disarmed when it showed up or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they've been able to do that for a long time. They turn off all the systems. They shut the down the... Uh, no, not to fuck with it. <laughs> they turn off all the... Um, Shit, they can turn them on. I'm going to show my friends at church this video. Um, because nobody at church believes me. They think that I'm nuts. Yeah. But I'm not nuts. I'm, I'm well, going to have proof. When you hear a ghost story or something like that. Yeah. It, usually it, what people's... It's their... They haven't seen it are going to first instinct and just... Not believe it. You saw that thing travel Wait, across. No, go by tree. Yeah, it's behind the tree now. It should pop out on the other right, side. It goes across all the way to the sun. It goes around the sun and then back again. It's probably disappeared. There it is. There's the very last of it right there.
This is going away. Watch, what time is it now? It's five o'clock right now. It's about the same time it's been every night. Nothing went down with the first time I filmed it was at 3 o'clock, sort of 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I was at Goat Rock Beach. My friend, we went to go see the beach. And I saw this thing in the sky. And I told her, I think that's the comet thing. I wasn't sure until I filmed it several times. Okay, it's going to be out of my reach here. So Don't I'm, comments go, go. I'm going to stop filming. Comments, they go by fast, all right? There it is. There's my proof.